Welcome back to Late Night. We're here with Vanessa Mayer. So you went to QVC Studios yes, yes. to research. Yes, yes. And the show sort of has that on-camera personas, off-camera personas, a little bit of how people interact with each other. It does seem like a bit similar to SNL. Yes, there's definitely a lot of similarities because it's live TV and everything. And in the show, my character, you know, shows up to her first day of work and she's so starstruck by the by the other hosts that she's like been, you know, like Molly Shannon's character and all the people that she's been kind of watching from home. And when I showed up at my first day at SNL, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> like I like it was just like seeing like Andy Samberg and Abby Elliott and like and like Kristen Wiig. I was just like so starstruck and I and I had to act normal and it was so weird because people were like, hey, you know, like uh, you know, <laughs> where are you staying? You know, and I was like, Yeah, um, like at a hotel or something like that. And they're like, Yeah, like how's you know, what do you, people say in conversation? No, that's <laughs> like, great. No, I think everybody's hearing this being like, I've had this that's exact what, that's conversation. How people talk. Yeah. But you know, they'd be like, it's you did it you sounds <laughs> like me, because that is how I talked back then. I'd be like, Yeah, uh, where are you that's, staying? That's yeah. Doing you. That's that would have been. It you. was probably you were but, talking to but me. But it was like, yeah, they would just be like, you know, what, and you, and I'd just be like, um, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> were you starstruck when you met the QVC people? Yes. Yeah, so, okay, so Jeremy Byler, who I created this show with, yes, he was a, a writer, writer, a wonderful writer at SNL. We went on this tour of QVC together, and then they 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 allowed us to meet these two hosts that I watched when I was a kid that are still hosts there, Jane Tracy and Mary Beth Rowe. They're like. The best, they're the best host. It sounds like a few yeah. of you. Yeah. Um, and uh, and I, I got to meet them. And I was even after seven years on SNL, where we would have different, you yeah, know, celebrity huge celebrities, hosts, huge yeah. celebrities, host, musical guests. I was like so starstruck by these two QVC hosts. <laughs> and they did not disappoint. They they told we talked to them for like an hour, and it went by so quickly because they are so incredible at talking. Yeah. And the other thing that I always think about is. You know, on, on QVC, they take, and any home shopping network, they take callers. And like, that's the one element that we didn't have at SNL was, um, yeah. we didn't have callers. Like mid-sketch yeah. callers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people being like, how do you think it's going? <laughs> they would just be like, oh, the cast isn't as good as when I was growing up. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Also, there's in the show, there's someone in your ear being like, this isn't going well. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It would yeah. be very bad if Lauren mid-sketch could be <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It, we're dying. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you, so, all right, what are the, uh, not to give it any away, but, yeah. you know, you use an element in the show of sort of using your cancer. Yes, yeah. To garner sympathy. Yes, at yes, a job. totally. Have you totally. ever, in, in real life, was this a thing? It's, it's always been sort of a thing where, like, you know, I, I, when I was younger, I would use it to like get to go to school late and the attendance woman would never question me. Like I kind of like yeah. used it for all the perks because you know, like I earned it. And so I feel like, um, but yeah, when I remember once when I was at SNL, I was flying with Lauren on like his jet to LA or something. And, uh, and he started asking me about when I was sick. And I was like, oh my God, I'm like, this is like one area where he's like genuinely interested. Like I, I can like, I'm like at the height of my like power here. Like yeah. talking about when I had sick and he was like asking me questions and I was like really like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of the bell of the ball, like yeah, the yeah. plane. And so I was like telling him all about when I was sick and he was really interested and I was like, he probably thinks it's really cool. Like I made it through this thing and I like have this experience. And then I sort of finished talking about it with him and there was like this silence. So I just went, um, hey, Lauren, uh, what, what's John Travolta like? <laughs> and immediately I went from being like so cool to like <laughs> such a little dummy. <laughs> like it was like, he was just like, uh, he's nice. And I was like, cool, cool, cool. And then a week later I like came back to work and I saw Kristen Wiig just randomly and I was like, oh, she was like, how was your break? And I was like, it was good. I just, I was in the plane with Lauren and I asked him what's John Travolta like. I'm like, it was, isn't that embarrassing? I'm sure he doesn't even remember. And she was like, oh yeah, he told me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a, he, we, uh, we were all on a text yeah. thing with them yeah. about it. Um, he thinks you suck, yeah. I love <laughs> I do like, uh, uh, in our final uh, minute here, uh, any things in, from your SNL days uh, that you uh, you felt deserved a chance to be on the show that, that didn't make it? Well, you know, Seth, there was a sketch called Boyd's. Boyd's, B-O-I-D-S. Yeah. Yeah. That Taryn, Taryn and I wrote for Will Ferrell, where yeah. 
we work at like a zoo or a place where, you know, where there's like a big uh, bird display. Yeah. And we play these guys who go like, hey, you want to see the Boyds? <laughs> You pointed like that was going better than. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm trying. We I'm have try, a caller. I'm we try. have a caller. This... <laughs> I'm trying to like will it into being yeah. funny, and so we were, which it is, and so we were like, we were like, uh, yeah, and then and then Will Ferrell comes out, and it's like he raps about birds, boys, yeah. boys. and he goes like. And I don't know the words, but it's something like, is an amazing kind of Boyd. Boyd, 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 Boyd. And that's a lot of Boyd's. Yeah. And it was, like, obviously, it was like a great sketch. I, yeah. And I do think that, and I don't, like, I don't remember this or care, but I do remember once you were going to kind of rewrite it with us. I did. I do remember I said, I came out of that on a weird Boyd high. And I remember saying to you guys, I think I, I would like to help you guys rework it. Yes, yes. And then uh, we kind of never I didn't heard do it. back yeah. from you on that. <laughs> I think what happened, and don't take this the wrong yeah, way, is yeah, I, yeah. Like, I actually, you know, sort of cracked the knuckles and sat down with Boyd's and took a look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it's a little bit like sometimes a doc is like, yeah. we can't save it. <laughs> um, but but you, would, you would be willing to do Boyd's if we could get the original gang back together? Uh, it would be my dream. It would be my, this show and doing Boyd's are like my two dreams. Talk about Boyd's real quick like a QVC host. Okay, so Boyd's is one of those sketches that has it all. It has, <laughs> it has great music in it, it has great jokes, it has great laughs, and it's got great actors. And honestly, if you watch Boyd's, then you're gonna go, wait a second, I love the sketch comedy. And you're gonna go, and I just adore it. And don't we love it so much because we do so very much. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa Mayer, everybody! I love that for you because streaming April 29th and the Mayor's May 1st on Showtime. We'll be right back with more late night.